Sister tried to said say my boyfriend a week before her wedding. So I told her fiancé, who then left her at the altar. Now I'm engaged, but my parents say I ruined everything out of jealousy. Hi, so to begin with, let me just get it out of the way, I hate my sister. I literally hate her from the bottom of my heart because she is just a straight up terrible person. She is a total brat who doesn't care about anybody but herself and the worst part of it is that she thinks she is entitled to everything that she wants. I can't stand her and I think everybody in our family is aware of that fact. It all started when we were in high school, the first time that she hit on my prom date and he told me about it, and since we don't have much of an age gap, I'm just one year older than her, we were always competing. And our parents never did anything to discourage that either because they had pretty much given up on us ever getting along after middle school. Right from our childhood, we did not get along. And like I said, it might have had something to do with the age gap. We did not have enough years between us, to prevent the kind of rivalry that we had, at least that's what the issue was in my opinion. We were always trying to one-up each other or one another, and it was constant. At first, we were competing for the affection and attention of our parents and later, it turned to our friends in school and then, eventually, boys. But no matter what, we were always competing against each other. Our parents tried to force us together and make us spend time with each other, but I don't know why, we just never clicked. I know that most kids usually grow out of sibling rivalry eventually, but for us, that never happened. And I think most of it has to do with my sister because like I said, she is just a bad person and has always been that way I remember, even as kids, I would occasionally try to keep aside our competition and be nice to her, but she always just turned me down. After I developed a consciousness, I decided that I was not going to try and be friends with her anymore since she had made it perfectly clear to me that she was never going to get along with me and was always going to try and make my life more difficult. She has been a little demon ever since she was born. There is no other way to put it, and I can't be more gentle about what I'm saying. She does not have any redeeming qualities at all, and how she got so many boys to agree to be with her, that's beyond me. And how she got to be with her fiancé, that's always going to be the biggest mystery of all. But I guess I should call him her ex-fiancé now because after what happened, I don't think they're gonna get married. Or even being together again, which I honestly think, is good for the guy. He is a genuinely nice person and he deserves better. But unfortunately, my parents are really pissed at me because they think that the two of them breaking up was my fault and the fact that it happened at the wedding humiliated them and they are blaming me for it. So, I just want to know if what I did was right or wrong. I'll get right into it then. My sister, Melissa, and her fiancé, Theo, have been together for the past five years. Both of them are 25 and have been together since college. I have met him countless times throughout these five years, and at family events and holidays, and he comes across as a genuinely nice person. He has always been polite to everybody and is the exact opposite of my sister. So I never understood how she managed to get with him because before that, she had only dated terrible guys, and the relationships never lasted more than two to three months. She had dated almost eight guys before she finally got with Theo, and that's only from the ages of 16 to 20. Mind you, I'm not trying to shame her for it because she was just a teenager, and she didn't know what she was doing, but honestly, I did not think that her relationship with Theo would last as long as it did and I was actually surprised when they celebrated five years of them being together, and he ended up proposing to her at the anniversary party that he had organized for her. I thought that she had finally turned over a new leaf and was genuinely serious about this guy, which would have been nice, but after that engagement, I found out certain things from people from school and I did not like what I heard. Mostly for Theo's sake, the poor guy. After they got engaged, a couple of my friends told me that they had been hearing a lot of gossip about Melissa and Theo. Most of it did not paint Melissa in a good light because several people could swear that for the past five years, she had been introducing herself as single to a lot of people, and she had even been out on a couple of dates with some guys from school and had even matched with a couple of people on dating apps. But unfortunately, these were all just rumors that I heard about her and nobody had any substantial evidence to prove it, so I couldn't exactly tell anybody about it because I did not want people to think that I was spreading these nasty rumors about her in the family. And these things were only coming to light after their engagement because she had posted it on social media and because of these alleged rumors from the past, it had led to quite a stir in our social circles from school. So I kept my mouth shut about it, and I just hoped that none of this was true because if it was, the poor guy would have to really suffer since from what I could see, he was truly and deeply in love with her. They got engaged 8 months ago, and since then, I have kept these things to myself. And I planned on keeping these things to myself as well, but then something happened that changed my mind. So, I have been dating my boyfriend, Alex, for the past two years. Things are getting pretty serious between us and recently, I have started inviting him to family events as well. And at my age, I'm dating to marry because I really want to have a family and stuff. So my immediate family kind of knows about how serious I am about this guy, including Melissa. In spite of our arrival and how much we hate each other, we are still forced to see each other every weekend for dinner with our families because my parents have made it very clear that no matter how much bad blood we have between the two of us, we still have to make it a point to at least put on a happy face in front of our relatives and we have to be civil to each other at family events, dinner parties and holidays. 
my father had not been doing well recently, so he made it a rule that we had to get together as a family every weekend for dinner. It's just one day a week, for a couple of hours, so we are able to tolerate it. We don't talk to each other, but we do talk to our parents and it's complicated, but we have to deal with it. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, I told my parents that Alex and I are considering getting engaged in a couple of months, soon after my sister's wedding. That's how serious we are right now because even though we have been dating for just two years, I have known him for quite some time and we have been friends for two years before we even started dating. So essentially, Melissa knew exactly how much I liked him, and even then, she decided to make a move on my boyfriend just a week before her wedding. This happened last week, my parents were hosting one last dinner for all of us, including Theo and his family, to celebrate the marriage before the wedding finally took place. It was just family and a couple of close friends, and after dinner, I had been taking a walk in the garden because I wanted to get some fresh air. When I went back into the house, I overheard someone talking in a really seductive voice, in the kitchen and that kind of got me curious, so I decided to peep into the room, and to my shock, I realized that it was just my boyfriend and my sister in the room. I would have been angry, but it was just a weird sight because I could see that Melissa had literally cornered Alex, and he was standing with his back, literally pressed against the wall because he was trying to put as much distance as he could between him and Melissa. And she was trying to flirt with him, telling him that if he ever got bored with me, he knew whom to call. I was disgusted and really pissed off, so I pushed the door open and stood in the doorway with my arms crossed, glaring at her and daring her to say something. But she just smiled very smugly at me and walked past me like nothing had even happened, even though I knew that she knew that I had overheard the whole thing. After she was gone, Alex came to me and tried to tell me that he hadn't done anything, but he didn't even need to convince me because I knew that he hadn't. I trusted him enough, and I knew, from the sight of things, that he was very uncomfortable with what was going on. He told me that he had come to the kitchen to get a bottle of water, but then, Melissa had followed him inside and shut the door. He had tried to get away from her, but she had been blocking the door, and then, she had cornered him and had started making a move on him. The sad thing is that this is not even the first time that this is happening, Melissa has tried to make a move on my boyfriend several times before, and occasionally, it has even worked. Some of my friends did end up cheating on me with her, and my parents knew about it, but even then, they forced us to be together. And every time I would threaten to cut them out of my life, they would start emotionally manipulating me, and I did not want to cut ties with my parents because apart from the whole thing with my sister, they were actually pretty good to me. I wouldn't say that my sister was the golden child either because she also received a lot of flack from my parents, but I can't blame them entirely either because this is just being a terrible person, they have nothing to do with it. They were trying their best to make this family work. But after what happened last week, I decided that I had had enough. Because even now, in spite of being engaged, if she could not keep her hands to herself, and still wanted to come after me, she would have to face the consequences of it as well. I knew that this was not about her and Alex, it was about her and me and her insane need to outdo me and try to one-up me all the time. I really had enough by that point, so I decided to tell my mother about what was going on because that was the first person that I ran into after Alex told me whatever had happened. I pulled her aside and explained the situation to her and I told her that I had also heard a bunch of other rumors from my friends about Melissa and how she had been pretending to be and going out with other people, cheating on Theo, right after the engagement. She was shocked, and I expected her to tell me to do the right thing, but instead, she told me to put all this aside for now and literally begged me not to speak about this with anybody. I could not believe that this was happening because I knew that, in spite of everything, my parents were at least upright people and they would ask me to do the right thing, which would be to prevent Theo from marrying Melissa because clearly, she was not serious about him as he thought she was. But she begged me not to talk about this and never say anything about it, trying to convince me to put on a happy face for the wedding, and after that, whatever would happen, would happen. After that interaction with my mother, I gave up any hope of this family ever being normal because Melissa was just a terrible person and my parents, no matter how much they pretended to be good people and acted like they loved us both equally, they definitely encouraged her behavior and did not do anything to prevent her from becoming an even worse person. So after Alex and I left that day, I was really frustrated because all along, I had believed that my parents would eventually do the right thing, but now, it had become clearer to me than ever that, no matter what, they would always put her above everything else. After the two of us got home that day, a few minutes after we had reached, Alex gave me some news that finally cheered me up. Now, I could finally take things into my own hands because if my mother was not going to allow me to get to Theo and tell him the truth, I could just send it to him because Alex told me that he had accidentally started recording a video when Melissa had cornered him because he had been on his phone while he was in the kitchen, and apparently his screen hadn't been turned off when she entered the room. So somehow, while trying to put it in his pocket, he had started recording and now, we had video evidence of her trying to make a move on my boyfriend just a week before the wedding. I instantly knew what to do, so I typed out the entire list of nasty rumors about Melissa that I had heard from my friends after they got engaged and attached that video to that email, and sent it to Theo. I don't know what exactly I had expected to happen after that email, but it is definitely not radio silence. The next day, when we woke up, Alex and I had expected at least a couple of messages from some people. If not, then at least Melissa or my parents, but then we just had no messages. 
Our inbox was completely empty and people were going on about their lives as if nothing had happened. We waited for a couple of hours, hoping that it would come later in the day, at least something would happen. But towards the evening, Alex and I still hadn't heard back from anybody and everything seemed normal. My mother had even called me up and had a very normal conversation with me in the meantime. So he and I were forced to accept that, maybe he had watched the video, and read the email, and I decided that he was going to stick with Melissa and ignore everything that we had said. I won't lie, both of us were a tiny bit disappointed because we really thought that we could get her back, for everything that she had done, but unfortunately, it did not work out that way for us back then. Or at least that's what we had believed. One week passed and yesterday, we finally attended her wedding. We were surprised that it was even happening, especially after that video that we had sent to Theo. Everything was going smoothly and Alex and I were just really confused, since nothing had even happened at the rehearsal dinner. Both of them seemed in love and he had absolutely no difference in his behavior. He had even greeted us the same way, so I had almost started believing that maybe he hadn't even opened the email at all, but I did not have the heart to tell him to check his inbox since it seemed like the universe did not want him to know and wanted him to be with Melissa, and I was not going to interfere with that and go out of my way to create trouble. So after that email, I had given up any hope, but then, yesterday, while he was up at the altar, something really strange happened. After Melissa had said her vows, it was his turn, but instead of his vows, he started talking about a certain email that he had received one week ago and Alex and I just looked at each other, and we knew what was going to happen. I wouldn't say that we were happy, it was just really weird and confusing for us, but then, he went on to read out the contents of that email and actually played the video on the mic, and I think everybody recognized Melissa's voice and also Alex's voice, so that was kind of awkward for us, because all eyes were on us at that point of time. But after he was done reading that email and playing that video, he told us that he had waited for one week and thought about what he wanted to do, and during this time, he had not spoken to anybody about what he had seen. But now, he had spoken to people and talked to them about the rumors that have been listed in the email and as it turns out, it was mostly true. He had even spoken to a couple of guys back from Melissa's school, and they confirmed with photos, that she had indeed been out on a date with them in the past five years, that she had been with him. And now, it only seemed fitting that he left her because there was nothing else that he had to say to her. And he had chosen this moment to leave her, at the altar, because he believed that after everything that had happened, he at least deserved a moment of satisfaction and revenge. After that speech, he walked off, and for a few seconds, there was absolute silence, but then, Melissa completely dissolved into panic mode. She was hysterical after that, and everybody spent a couple of hours at the venue because everybody was just so confused about what to do, whether the wedding was happening or not, and eventually, her in-laws had to take the mic and tell everybody to go home after lunch, because that was the bare minimum that they could do for all the guests who had come. So some people stayed for lunch, and then left, but Alex and I just left as soon as we could. We could hardly even believe what had happened, but we were happy that Theo had decided to leave because honestly, he deserved better. He was a good man, and he deserved to be with somebody who was actually in love with him and was not just keeping him around as an option. Anyway, once Alex and I got home, we did not know what to expect. Really late at night though, my mother finally called me, which is something that I knew was going to happen. She told me that she knew I was the one who had sent that email and accused me of being a vindictive person and said that I had always been jealous of Melissa, that she was getting married before me, and that's why I had ruined her wedding. She told me that she and my dad were really disappointed with what I had done and said that I was just as bad as my sister because it was not just always trying to outdo me because I had always been trying to do the same thing to her as well, and maybe that's why we never got along. But anyway, the damage was finally done and she told me that it would be best if you did not keep in touch for a while because she did not have anything left to say and it broke my heart. I just kept replying to that conversation in my head and I tried really hard to defend myself, but I just kept falling short of words. I was just so hurt by what she said and right now, I'm wondering if I'm actually the bad guy here. Alex tells me that I'm not, but he's my boyfriend, he's obviously going to be on my side here. I just really want to know if people think that I'm the bad guy here. So Ida for telling my sister's fiancé how she has been trying to cheat on him just a week before the wedding? Update 1, hi, it has been one week since the incident at the wedding and right now, all I know is that the wedding is not going to happen. They have broken up, which is what I heard from a couple of friends since Melissa has been going around and telling everybody that I am the one behind the breakup, even though she was the one who had been cheating on him all along and she had been the one who hit on my boyfriend just a week before her wedding. I don't understand how this is my fault, and I'm not going to blame myself for anything. I can't even believe that I let my mother gaslight me to believe that this was somehow my fault. I went through the comments on my original post and did some thinking for myself as well. I came to the conclusion that maybe I did try to out to my sister just as much as she tried to do the same to me, but in the end, nothing justified what she did. No matter what, I never hit on any of her boyfriends and I never went out of my way to make her miserable. I competed with her, that was for sure, but I would never stoop so low as to hit on her boyfriends to get back at her. I would never hurt anybody else in the process, that's beneath me. But evidently, it was not beneath her, and she was just a serial cheater, and I exposed her. I don't think I need to feel bad about it because I just saved some poor innocent guy from getting scammed for his entire life. 
My mother just wanted to pretend that everything was fine to preserve the reputation of the family. But I don't think that our reputation is more important than somebody else's feelings. Because if he ended up getting married to her, they would have to get a divorce, and that would be far more ugly, than what happened so I just saved everybody a lot of trouble. And if my parents still want to take her side on this, they are welcome to do so. I have blocked them and if they want to reach out to me, they know where I live. As for Melissa, I hardly care about how she feels. She doesn't care about what anybody else feels, I don't think I need to extend that courtesy to her, and I'm glad that she is miserable right now. Maybe if she didn't want Theo to leave her, she should have been a better partner to him. Also, I just want to touch on some things, there were some people in the comments who had been suggesting that maybe I had feelings for Theo which is why I had been trying so hard to sabotage them and were blaming me for everything. I want to deny that I definitely tried to sabotage them, but it was more out of concern for him than hate for my sister. And even if it was out of it for my sister, I don't think I did anything wrong. Even if I did everything out of spite, it still led to something good happening for Theo. And just because I wanted something good to happen to him, it does not translate to saying that I had feelings for him. I do think he's a nice person and has a good heart, but that's about it, he and I are not even close friends. So I don't understand why people came to the conclusion that I had feelings for him, it's just ridiculous. And also, I literally have Alex, who has been with me for the past two years. I love him more than anything or anybody in the world and I want to marry him, and I think I made that perfectly clear in my original post as well, so I don't even know how this theory of me having feelings for Theo came to exist. Either way, I thought that it was quite insulting and I wanted to put it out there, that whatever I did, it was because I thought it was the right thing to do. And I had put up with a lot of BS over the years, I don't think I need to put up with it anymore. So I don't have any regrets about what I did, and if somebody wants to still believe that I did this because I had feelings for Theo, they are welcome to do so. I know what my intentions were, and I know what I did was the right thing to do, so it's fine. And most of the comments are in my favor, I don't think I need to explain more. Anyway, Alex and I are happy and content with the way that things have turned out. My parents are not speaking to me anymore, but it doesn't matter to me because either way, they are going to pick Melissa's side, no matter how wrong she is. In this situation, she has literally been proven to be a serial cheater, and they are still on her side, I don't know how that works. But anyway, I don't need to try and make things right with them anymore because they have made it very clear to me that I'm not that important to them and neither is doing the right thing. So whatever, it's a free country and we can all do whatever we want and I guess that's what we are doing. Update 2, Hi, it has been almost two weeks since the wedding was called off and Theo walked out on Melissa, and today, I finally heard back from him. It was quite a shock because I did not think he was ever going to reach out to me to say anything because, to be honest, I did sabotage his wedding and I was the bearer of bad news, which hardly goes down well with people. And we hadn't exactly been good friends before the incident, so I did not know what to expect. But I'm really happy that he reached out because a couple of hours ago, he sent me an email in response to the one that I had sent him three weeks back, before his wedding. He told me that he hadn't had the opportunity to thank me before because he was still grappling with his feelings, and did not know what to do, so he had been ignoring me, but now, since everything was out in the open, he felt like he needed to thank me for looking out for him and letting him know. He said that he had occasionally had his reservations about Melissa, but he had always believed that people were wrong about her. Since nobody ever had the guts to actually come up to him and give him a clear picture of the kind of situation that he was in, since nobody wanted to be the bad guy. But I was the only person who had actually come up to him and told him the truth, so he would be able to make a decision for himself and his relationship. So he thanked me for that, and he told me that he did not know why I had done exactly what I had done and he was not interested either because he did not want to know my motives since that would just ruin the whole thing, but I just wanted to thank me and get it out of the way. And I think that was a nice thing to do. I obviously still feel bad for him because I knew that he was really in love with Melissa, but Alex and I talked about it, and this is better for him, in the long run. I hope he finds happiness after this. Update 3, Hi, Guys. So this is going to be a really short and sweet update. About 3 months ago, I had been posting here and I had mentioned that I wanted to marry Alex and we had been planning on getting engaged. Well, it finally happened. 2 days ago, he finally proposed to me and I said yes. We are going to get married and in a couple of days, we are also throwing an engagement party for ourselves. I haven't invited my parents since they haven't bothered to reach out to us, and I guess our relationship with them is over now. I posted about my engagement on social media and they did not even congratulate me, but all my relatives did, and everybody else thinks that I did the right thing back then and my parents are just being awful. So now I don't expect anything from them anymore. But whatever, at least I'm happy and so is Alex, and that's all that I need right now.